All right, I got some big updates for Restricted RPS. First and foremost, I hired a voice actor to do narration. He grits his teeth in frustration and in hatred of his stupidity! And so he did like 90, 95 something lines of narrated dialogue to comment on 40 unique situations. And so I've been putting in a lot of work getting all those situations to actually trigger properly. These are situations like different types of match results, winning and losing and winning big and losing big and being a slave, having debt, you know, trading, moving to the rest area and buying things. And for the endings in continuous mode, um, on top of that, I've added in the music that I had made previously, and I recoded the entire sound engine so that there could be more like fading effects and, and smooth audio transitions between different areas. Another big overhaul I did during this update was there's some animations that were tied to the frames. They, they were frame dependent. They would lag a lot when heavy animations fancy effects going on all at the same time it would it would lag pretty bad so now they skip frames if they have to and importantly they they stay moving at the intended pace and yet another big addition not something i i coded personally it's on the server side i got humph to um add on a twitter bot which receives alerts from the, the public servers when they get a new player or when a, a round starts of tournament mode or um, someone finishes continuous mode, winning their goal, uh, things like that will get uh, tweeted out. And so if you play Restricted RPS, that will help you find games. Just trying to help people play the game more. Um, and then there's a ton of other things I've fixed up. The narration update led me to all sorts of different bugs I hadn't noticed before. Um, I added logging of trade offers to the chat in meetings. I changed the in-scene player characters in main hole and the rest area to be synchronized across clients. That was another big annoying thing to code alongside the like frame-dependent animations and the, the audio overhauls. There was a bug with the server list not showing all of the available servers. It would only show one, which I'm uh, not sure how we didn't see that before. Probably because there's no one playing it. Um, there was a problem with force betting, not having the hold to increment buttons like everywhere else. I changed the messages for the match suit, which automatically tries to figure out what people have played in matches. Uh, changed the messages to be more readable while still being vague enough that they don't overstep what is actually being revealed about the matches. In the options, there's graphical settings, which you could change, and they wouldn't always change immediately. Now they all change as soon as you click them, so you can see what, what they do right away. I added a neat little panning out effect in the rest area, which goes over the entire length of a turn. I changed the sidebar match buttons to be frozen during the match results, so you can't go clicking stuff. Uh, fix a bug where there's, when you had a ton of alerts and you started deleting some, it would end up causing stalls and misalignments, and, and that was an annoying thing to fix. It turned out to be due to some ordering glitches and floating point errors, which are always fun to not notice. And I, I changed it so that the, the new cool chain effects over your profile won't um, break up as soon as you're freed if you're doing like a match results thing. So that way if you're killing your master in a match, it won't reveal until you get stars in the results. His blood was fire. The demon called gambling beckoned him to kill. 